Hi, I'm Jess Wei. In this video, I have transferred the avocado citrine from a plastic container to a glass container so that roots can be seen clearly. Day 31 shows that avocado citrine with four leaves, coal stem and the stem, were all in uh, red color. Secondary roots that derived from the primary root were observed. Day 35 shows that citrine had grown up to about 6 inches or 15 centimeters in height. The tap water was changed once a week, so the plant may have enough electrolytes for use. Day 40 shows that seedling had grown up to about 8 inches or 19 centimeters in height, and all eight leaves are in green. At this stage, the root system contains primary, secondary, and tertiary roots as well. The citrine gut is meristem towards the light source through the window resulted bending of the stem due to phototropism, one of the many plant tropism which respond to external stimuli. I had to rotate the container frequently in order to make corrections for this bending phenomenon to make this citrine looking upright. The stem remain in red color at this stage. Red pigment anthocyanins acts as an antioxidant to protect young citrine from free radicals produced by UV light in the sunshine, which may destroy plant DNA. Day, 30, uh, sorry, day 63 shows that this avocado Citrine has grown up to more than a foot uh, from the center of the pit. The first leaf was the smallest one, had three centimeters in length. The second leaf, 5.6 centimeters. The third leaf, 9.7 centimeters. The fourth leaf, 11.5 centimeters. The fifth leaf, 11.6 centimeters. The sixth leaf, 12.5 cm. The seventh leaf, 12.5 cm. And the eighth leaf, eighth leaf, 10.3 cm. The objective of our hydroponic germination experiment is to observe how far this citrine can go using this tap water based system. I will tell you the story at our future video, whether this citrine can grow in a good shape using its own endosperm, top water, and oxygen in the air to develop branches.